How is it going, everybody? This is RBT bringing you the results of my first sim season of NCAA Football 13. This is just going to be a video showing you the results of everything that happened. If you're interested in how a sim season season will conclude in NCAA Football 13 and give you a general idea of what's going to happen every time you play a season in Dynasty mode. And we're going to start out here giving you the Heisman winner, and that is Giovanni Bernard, the running back from North Carolina. That not that highly of a um, known player out there. Not too many people know who this guy this guy is. But this game has him winning the Heisman in year one. As he's only a um, redshirt sophomore coming out of North Carolina with 217 carries, 146 yards, and 19 touchdowns. It's a pretty dang good season for G Giovanni Bernard. And second in the Heisman. Honestly, I'm not sure who that running back is. and It's from a guy from Georgia. And that might be Isaiah Crowell, even though he's not on the team anymore. But I'm not honestly sure if that's him or another running back for Georgia. Third, you got Taylor Martinez. It's kind of surprising. He's not really a Heisman candidate, but it is what it is. Fourth place, you got Marcus Lattimore from South Carolina. He's kind of expected to be in there as Monte Ball, who came in in fifth place. Um... So, yeah, that is your Heisman winner from the first sim season of NCAA 13. Let's go on. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you everything. I, I used the Alabama to sim through the season. AJ McCarron apparently had a really good year. Um, through 41 touchdowns. God dang, man. Well, I, I think that is Kenny Bell. Um, Cody Mandel won the Ray Guy Award. Wow. Um, did every player for Alabama win an award? Goodness. Alabama won the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Um, I knew Alabama. They lost to Auburn. That, that really sucks. Um, I'm just going to sim through this part. I'm going to fast forward. Alright, here we go. Um, I'm just going to go show you the, the top. The, well, actually, I'll start with the bowl results. Um... Florida, I'm probably not going to make this video really long or anything. Florida beat Air Force in the New Mexico Bowl. Or you can you can see all this yourself. I'm not really going to say too much about these bowls. Let's let, I'll just let you look at them. Um, Texas State, their first season, or that's Texas San Antonio, I believe. Their first season as a bowl, as a team, went 10-3. and three. It's kind of impressive, but they did get beat by Southern Miss. Um, moving along, Oregon went to the Holiday Bowl. Um, Kentucky made a bowl game. Good for them. Army made a bowl game. That's not doesn't happen too often, man. Moving on, Alabama played North, North Carolina. I, I saw this before I simmed to the very end of the bowl. North Carolina was ranked number two going into the ACC championship game against North Carolina State. So, obviously, um, North Carolina State lost ACC, ACC championship game. Auburn, oh my god, got beat by Wisconsin. Nothing to 45 in the Capital One Bowl. How is the Capital One Bowl winner number two in the country? That's kind of crazy. Um, Gator Bowl, LSU lost to Michigan. USC beat Ohio State in the Rose Bowl 51-21. to USC is unstoppable in this game. Three plays, and they made me quit. Sugar Bowl. Georgia Tech wins the Sugar Bowl. Wow. 33-29 to over Nebraska. Orange Bowl. Like I said, NC State won the ACC. Um, they only lost one time this year, man. They, they beat Louisville 28-21. to It seems like they should be ranked a little bit higher than 13. Went well, undefeated in ACC play. Fiesta Bowl. Um, South Carolina lost to Kansas State 31-17. to Cotton Bowl, Texas A&M, oh wow, the rivalry, Texas A&M versus Texas, Texas A&M won 34 to 30, Compass Bowl, Missouri, lost to Arkansas State, out of way to represent the SEC, moving on, BCS National Championship, the Georgia Bulldogs versus the Oklahoma Sooners, 38 to 14 with the whooping over Georgia, Oklahoma goes unscathed and win the National Championship. Um, let's see what else we can look for you guys. All-Americans. Let's see. 
um, all NCAA. I'm just gonna go down the list. Uh, Mike, that's Mike Glennon for NC State. He's a really good player, honestly. So and be looking out for him this year. Wisconsin had every one of the linemen on the on the uh, goodness. NC State's got a pretty much has the first team on lockdown, man. And their best player, David Amerson, didn't make it. Um, let's look at the second team. Quarterbacks from SMU, Monte Ball, Marcus Lattimore. Uh, moving on. I'm trying not to bore you. I just want you to see who got what and what not. Quarterback freshman from Notre Dame got the freshman All-American. Iowa with a, a basically all freshman defensive squad. All right, I don't know if you guys really want to see all of these, but I'll just show you. I'll just scroll down them really, really fast. EJ Manuel got second team. All ACC, all Big Ten. Wisconsin's whole entire offensive line basically got all first team. Goodness. Well, Ohio State has the best secondary in the country. How did Taylor Martinez finish third in the Heisman and make it second team all Big Ten? That doesn't make sense. I'm honestly trying not to make this video boring. I just want you to see what is going on here. Um, scrolling along. Oklahoma, of course, has all the Big 12 members. Um, Texas, Kansas State filling up that squad. And I'll just show you the, the big the big conferences. Uh, let's go SEC and Pac-12, and I'll show you uh, the award winners, and that'll be it. AJ McCarron, wow, got all uh all SEC quarterback over Air Murray and Zach Medenberger and Ryan. I mean Tyler Wilson. Surprising. Let's see second team. Wow. Go pack twelve, and that'll be it for that. Uh, Keith Price leading the pack twelve quarterback spot. All, all pack twelve. Of course, it's filled with USC players. Moving on, to second team. Jordan Wynn. The guy is very, very underrated. Be looking out for Jordan Wynn this year. In the world of college football. All right, that is all I'll show you there. Um, let's move on to what you, will you guys enjoy to look at um, conference standings, and this will probably be. I'll show you that. Well, I ha have the award winners left. Um, Vanderbilt went two and ten. Wow. Uh, Pac-12. Let's just go divisional, so it's easier to see. USC, of course, leading the way, barely edged out Utah in the South. Washington, as I have predicted in my videos, won the North over uh, Oregon. Mountain West, Old Hawaii, leading the way. This is their first year as a Mountain West member. Going with the Mac, Northern Illinois, always leading the Mac, always, always one of those teams. UMass didn't really fare well the first year as a Division One team. Uh, moving on, Independence, Notre Dame. Oh, all the Independents did, uh, went over 500 this year. It's USA, Houston, coming back strong after losing Case Keenum. Uh, UCF, people have predicted to go to a BCS Bowl this year, lost five games. Memphis had a great season, going 1-11. Great year for the Memphis Tigers. Big Ten, Nebraska leading the way in the Legends Division. Um, Michigan State, surprisingly, goes 5-7. Wow. Lost Eastern Michigan. <laughs> Uh, Ohio State leading the way. Wisconsin in the 99 overall, and they don't even win their division. They finished the season ranked second. That doesn't make any sense, man. 
um, Big East, Louisville, one of the Big East, the best conference in the world, going eight and five. That is definitely deserving of a BCS bowl bid. Granted, they did about beat um, uh, NC State. Big 12. Oklahoma leading the way. National champs for this year. Followed by Kansas State. See who finished last? Of course, it was Kansas. Coastal Division. North Carolina, like I said, had a good year. Georgia Tech won the Sugar Bowl, but finishes third in their division in the ACC. Ooh, that's really cool. Man. Miami going 4-8. and eight. That doesn't make any sense, seriously. Finished third in your division in the ACC and won the Sugar Bowl. Wow. Um, Boston College had a wonderful year going 2-10. and 10. Wake Forest is always a quiet, quietly good team. NC State, like I said, had a surprising year of not losing in the conference. Let's see if they played Clemson in every team. Played Florida State, UNC, UNC, they beat UNC twice, even though UNC was ranked number two. On um, that, I guess that is it, unless you want to see the um, award winners. Maxwell Award winner goes to Keith Price of Washington. Walter Camp Award goes to Giovanni Bernard, the Heisman winner. Bendarnik Award goes to whoever that is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know every single player's name. The Gursky Award goes to a linebacker from Wisconsin. A Bryan Award goes to... I believe this quarterback's name is Kyle Padron. I'm not honestly sure. But he won the O'Brien Award, Best Quarterback Award. Um, Walker Award goes to the Heisman winner once again. I, I, yes, that is Isaiah Crow, I'm pretty sure. Blitnikoff goes to, I believe, I actually don't believe I don't know who this is, but guy from NC State, Mike Linden was first team all in the NCAA, so I guess he had a great combination with this guy. At 17 touchdowns on the year. The Mackey Award goes. Goodness, NC State. Watch out for them. One in the World Series. Or the Super Bowl. They got everybody. Up there, Wisconsin um, leading the way. Left tackle from Wisconsin. One of the Outland Award. Remington goes to another Wisconsin lineman. Then big boys in Wisconsin. The Lombardi Award going to a defensive end from Notre Dame. Best linebacker award goes to a linebacker. An old white guy from Missouri. The Philip Ward goes to a... Oh, wait, man. Yep, I had it. Never mind. Philip Ward goes to a cornerback from Northwestern. Followed by a corner from Middle Tennessee State. That's a big shock right there. The Groza Award goes to a kicker from Oklahoma. To win those national championships, you have to have kickers who can make field goals. And that was shown last year. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alabama won the... National Championship was one of the worst kickers I've ever seen in my life. The Ray Guy Award winner goes to, as you saw, the punter from Alabama, Cody Mandel. Followed by the punter from Auburn. Poor Auburn. And Best Returner Award goes to, I believe that is DeAndrew White from Alabama. Followed by um guy from Michigan State. So that is it, guys. Hope that um, was somewhat of entertainment and interesting to you. Um... I can't really show you all the stats because that would take way too long. But if you want me to do any more videos like this or if you have any suggestions on what I should do, please leave a comment below because that will be very beneficial to me and that will help me entertain you guys as much as I can. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And as always, roll tide and go socks and go Titans to you. I'll see you guys later.